Hello, viewers. I hope you're having a good day. Today, we're going to do another show and tell episode. So I have a set of Nikon AIS prime lenses that I use for shooting video. They're kind of my budget DIY cinema lenses. I started off with three in my collection, the 24 millimeter F 2.8, 35 millimeter F 2.8 and 50 millimeter F 1.8. I have recently rounded out that collection with three additional lenses, the 20 millimeter F 3.5, the 85 millimeter F 2, and the 105 millimeter F 2.5. Now this is a modification that I've already done on those first three lenses. As you can see, the aperture clicks at each stop and I am going to de-click the aperture so it moves smoothly. This procedure is both relatively easy and reversible as long as you keep the little parts that we're removing. There should be a little metal tab inside of there that makes it click and we're gonna want to remove that. These do look like Phillips head screws, but I assure you they actually are not. What you're going to need to open this up is what's called a JIS type screwdriver. What I have here is a JIS two millimeter. The angle of the tip is different from what you'd find on a little Phillips head like this. Uh, the Phillips is a bit steeper and you will run the risk of stripping these screws. I tell you this from experience. I don't wanna go into it, but it wasn't pretty. What you will also need is a little slot screwdriver as well, as that is what's gonna hold on the metal tab inside. Once that tab is removed, the aperture ring is gonna move quite loosely. To add a little bit of resistance there, I picked up this optical helicoid grease. You do have to be careful with what kind of lubricant you put in your lens as it can cause them to haze. This is meant for optical instruments and I have used it in my other lenses and it hasn't given me any problems. I'm gonna try putting it on with a Q-tip. I also have some alcohol pads to clean off some surfaces. I think we'll begin with the 20 millimeter. To help prevent scratching that rear element, you can put a piece of masking tape over it. I'm like a combination of bad boy rebel and just kind of lazy. So fuck it, let's go in. We wanna take these three screws off on the back. So now this back piece should just come right off. I'll put that aside. Where should I put that aside? No, I'll we'll put it aside right here. Now the aperture ring should just pop off as well. Uh, there's also this that's going to come off as well. Now what we want is to take, let's look at this right here. This is the little metal plate that uh, does all the clicking. So we're gonna to wanna to remove that. As I said before, this is a reversible process, but you will have to keep all these little bits and pieces if you want to reverse it. Let's get that out. I'm gonna use this alcohol pad here to clean this all up. I'll clean the inside of the aperture ring as well. Start by dropping this little guy back in here. Where this tab goes in this slot. Uh, 
And then I am going to put some lubricant on the inside of this aperture ring. Oh man, I'm doing a horrible job of that. Oh my God. Fuck. Jesus Christ, man. Hopefully I didn't fuck that up. Now we're going to want to put this back on here with the, of course, the AI tabs facing the back of the lens. Now this, there should be a little notch in here that will match up with the tab in here. I'll just pop this over top. All right. As you can see, right here, it's going to move that tab around. This little tab here is what controls the iris itself. There is a notch in here that will fit over top of that pin. So we want to line that notch up with that pin. There we go. And let's get those screws back into place. And there we go. Now, as you can see through that, we have a dampened declicked aperture. Another thing about this lens I'm gonna, not going to need is this little claw on the side, so I can remove that as well. And I'm just going to put that, those little screws back in place. That was relatively painless, so ooh, let's keep moving. Next up, let's do the 85 millimeter. I expect this to be pretty much the same procedure. Oh. There we go. Exact same little mechanism. Looks like this one's being held on by the same type of screw as uh, everything else. So. That's easy. Over there. Oh, shit. Bickety boom. Let's clean this up. This one actually looks like it might be a little bit simpler, but hopefully those are not famous last words right there. Let's grease this puppy up. Oh 
Oh my god. I'm pretty sure there's like a better way to do this. I'm sorry. I think this one's going to maybe get a little more involved when it comes to putting this thing back on, which I'll give it a quick wipe down. This tab goes on the pin, which is what controls the aperture. And then this little tab here needs to fit in this groove right here. So let's try to do that. There we go. And that looks like it is in place. Let's put these bad boys back on. Smooth, nice D-clicked aperture right there. Oh yeah, just like Mama used to make. And I think for this one, we'll take off that claw as well. Oh shit. We're two for two. Let's wrap this up. Put all my bits and pieces into an envelope here. Now, oh, for posterity, I guess. Now the 105. I'm gonna use this time right now to reiterate that you should get one of these JIS screwdrivers. It'll save you a world of pain. Trust me on this. Pull this guy out. They're all just like slightly different in a very like unsettling way. Oh, oh shit. The ring doesn't really want to come off. It looks like to be a piece that goes through, but it also does seem that we have access to that tab right here. So I'm gonna, let's just do it. Whoop. That wasn't pretty. Mm, classic. There's a screw somewhere. Fuck. Where the fuck did it go? Oh no. Oh, thank God. The, uh... I'm gonna do this here. Okay, I found the screw. It's stuck to the side of my screwdriver. I'm gonna clean out what I have access to and add a little grease there as well. Let's pop this back on. Actually, we'll give it a little wipe down while we're at it. 
this tab, this big old tab here. Look at this, this tab. We're gonna wanna put it on this side of the aperture pin and line up those screws. Perfect. Close it up. Surgery is complete. There we go. Another declicked aperture. And then the finishing touch, we're going to take off that claw. Well, there we go. Today we declicked three Nikon AIS lenses, and it was pretty easy. I did mention in an earlier video that I do plan on doing a series for these Nikon AIS lenses, so expect those six videos to come out over the course of 2023. As always, if you have any questions at all, please ask them in the comments below. If you like this video and found it interesting or helpful in any way, I'd appreciate it if uh, you gave it a, a little thumbs up, but it's somewhere around here, I think. If you'd like to see more videos like that, well, then I think you should probably subscribe to the channel. You you know how that works. Regardless, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you come back around these parts again, you hear?